Slim Whitman is here. Now, I've been over to the Alvino Ray Guitar School. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how to play that? And we can also iron your shirts on. You <laughs> play, play something. I can't play that. You know thing. how to do that? No, that's a very difficult instrument. What is, what is that called? It's a called a uh, very difficult instrument. <laughs> no, that is a steel guitar. Steel guitar. Made out of steel. All the whole thing. It okay, is. That's steel the, guitar. Therefore the name, all steel guitar. That's right. Okay. Oh, why do I get into this? Anyway, I'm Johnny Carson, a firm believer in Darwin's theory of comedy. <laughs> Tonight you're, you're about to hear two million year old jokes that have adapted to the environment and have survived. It's known as the monologue Rex. <laughs> Any tourists here tonight? <laughs> Welcome to the mud and slush belt. <laughs> we have had a couple of thunderstorms the past week that have been dynamite. Last night it opened up again and uh, it's still hazy out. May rain again tonight. Yes. It is very wet out there, I want to tell you. How wet? Yes, Thank tonight. you, Clint. Charles Nelson O'Reilly and the Mighty Carson Art Players, and we'll be back in a moment to bring all of those things up and more to you. My first guest tonight, interesting story. Rather an interesting uh, little preface to the introduction of my next guest. I, I like music. I listen to a lot of music. But I, until some months ago, was not really familiar with Slim Whitman as a lot of people in this country were, but he was very popular in England. And they ran a commercial on late night television. I think it came out of some of the satellite stations. I know one from Atlanta for sure, um, advertising Slim Whitman albums. And people said, my God, who's, who's Slim Whitman? And he's kind of he's kind of caught on. And in case you missed the commercial, we're going to run the commercial for you. This is the one that is seen all over the country and really brought Slim Whitman to the attention of a lot of people in this country. Would, Bobby, you want to run that? <laughs> Last year, 1,400,000 TV viewers ordered this man's albums and tapes and made him a new American recording star. No one is darling but my love. And now to fill the tremendous demand, we proudly offer a brand new album by Slim Whitman, the international star whose heart-touching voice has now captured America. Making believe. Here is all the magic of Slim Whitman, the star who had the number one record in England for more weeks than even Elvis and the Beatles. Think I'll go somewhere and cry myself to sleep. If you love me, let me know. If you don't, then let me go. Since you've gone, the star. The sky, down the river of golden dream. I know your time of falling. I'll lose a dream. Slim Whitman, just for you. This all-new giant record treasury is only $7.98. Complete tape collection is only $9.98. Not sold in any store. Order yours now. Call toll-free 1-800-228-1010. 1-800-228-1010. Or save COD charges. Mail $7.98 for album, $9.98 for 8-track or cassette to Slim Whitman. Box 223826, Dallas. This brand new Slim Whitman collection is available through this offer only. Send to Slim Whitman, Box 223826, Dallas, Texas, 75222. Or phone now, toll free, one 800 We started talking about it, and people recognized the name, and I said, hey, you know, it's only fair we ask Slim Whitman to come on The Tonight Show. Would you welcome, please, Slim Whitman. come true a few kisses ago I remember you you're the one who said I love you true didn't you know I remember to a distant bed stars that fell like the rain out of the blue my life is through and the angels ask me to recall the thrill of them all 
Then I will tell them I remember you. I remember to a distant bell Stars that fell like the rain out of the blue my life is and the angels ask me to recall the thrill of them all then I will tell them I remember tell them I remember tell a few years but you kind of really snuck in the back door in this country yeah it's kind of strange i started uh in, in march 1948 which yeah. is, is about 33 years ago and every year i made records um, i made them in nashville or chicago right. or in london somewhere but uh but the united states it seems uh if you found one you had to thumb through them you know to find them right. and uh but England, uh, the rest of the world, was was great. Yeah, I've noticed in the commercial they talk about the top of the yeah, charts. Yeah, it says first the, time on American TV. And in the Guinness Book yeah. of Records, yeah. sure enough, you held the uh, British charts, top of the British charts, for a record 11 weeks. Yeah. And yet you really weren't that well known in this country. Well, it started here, really, in, yeah. in 1952. I had uh, a million seller of Indian Love Call. And I had several, in fact, I had Rosemary, who was a big hit here before there. Right. But then it kind of leveled off, and... Uh, and I went over overseas, and they held on to it a little bit longer than, uh, than the United States did. Now, this campaign that was on television with the albums has been sensational, because I've read that you're, you're playing concerts all over, you're doing colleges, you're doing uh, back to high schools, and uh, yeah, business Yeah, where I be. started, really. And uh, it, if I had to pick any one thing in, in 33 years that has been the highlight, the biggest thing in Whitman career, it had to be last year. And, and it, it had to be the commercial that some people laugh at. But they buy it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's, that's, that's the case. Yeah. yeah, that's the name of the game. Yeah. How many? Now, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. How many albums did they sell? Well, it's it, it's two million and rising. Two million? And, and rising, yeah. It, it, Rosemary. <laughs> you got a song you want to read? Yes, yes, two yes. million. <laughs> that's, and Ryan's still going yeah, up. It, it's, still, it's still selling. You've got a good voice. You slide in and out of that falsetto. Out of trouble. I get in and out of trouble. Yeah, but you all yeah. of a sudden you, uh, what, that's well, not it, easy to do. No, you uh, well, get, get into that high register. I think it's something you have to be born with. My son is a singer. In fact, it's like yodeling, yeah. isn't it? You can't learn it. Yeah, he's, he's a singer, but he doesn't yodel. See, right. e even though I'm, I'm his dad, he can't yodel. It's a thing you're born with. And uh, in fact, when I, I started, I had my first hit record. They said, why don't you start a yodel school? I didn't know how to start it. Right. Well, somebody asks you yeah. how to yodel, Slim, what do you tell them? Well, I just say, oh, 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 that's it. That's all I know, see? Now, you, and, that, and I know if I do that, it's going to sound ridiculous because... That, that's you, it. But you have it clear back in here, don't you? Yeah, it's, it's down here somewhere. I don't Yo. know where it comes from. Oh. <laughs> no, I can't. There's no it's, way. It's down in here somewhere. I don't know where it comes from. I just, uh, when I think a word needs it, I, I go into it. Slide right into it. Slide right into Perfect. it. And then uh, that's, that's the way it happens. Well, I'm really glad for your success. It's nice to see something like somebody who started a career and then all of a sudden have a, a resurgence of it. Well, it's, it, it's, good to be, uh, it, it's good to be everywhere. And, and what makes me real happy is the fans that have stayed with me all these years, even though they didn't know where I, I was. <laughs> <laughs> they knew you were somewhere, but not where, huh? Yeah, they're actually coming up to me and, and saying, uh, we know you're happy, but we're just as happy as you are. And that's great. And that, that's really great. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And the little kids coming up, could we get your autograph? That's nice. I said, man, you, you bet. You bet. You bet. You bet. You bet.